Hello guys and welcome back to my channel, it's Del and I'm back again today with episode 18 of the Book of Unwritten Tales. In the last episode, I can't remember exactly what we did, we've got a bunch of stuff. When did we get fireworks shells? Okay, apparently we've got fireworks shells when I cannot remember for the life of me where we got them, but I do know what we actually do have to do now, because I was incredibly stuck at the end of the last episode. That was about two weeks ago I recorded that, and uh, I was a little bit stuck, but I am... I do know what to do now. So, what we need to do first off is go over here to the showman's wagon. The reason I know what to do now is because I did feel the need to, because I was very stuck, I did have to... Uh, Cheat a little bit and just read the first, the next couple of sentences of a guide I found, just to make sure that this wasn't uh, boring for you. Now, what it said is that I need to get, because obviously we need to get that rabbit somehow. And what it said was, oh there, carrot. That's what we were looking for. I was that say, carrot can't even fit into Bertram's cage anymore. Maybe he really does eat a tad too much. Didn't see that carrot previously. I don't know if it was there before, but we need to take I the think carrot. This is doing him a favour. And then we can get the rabbit, because as we all know, I was about to say carrots love rabbits, but I think it's the other way around. Rabbits love carrots. Let's carry onwards. And I, again, I still, like I mentioned in one of my transistor episodes, I don't have a phone currently, so I'm not sure how um, long this video is going to end up being. I'm going to aim for and about 15 minutes. Am I supposed to go rabbit fishing? Yes, you are. Wait, is that not what I do? And then, am I supposed to go? Rabbit fishing. Oh, tie the rope to the... Oh, not the rope to the tree. Grandad told me about these. Okay. That's fairly the simple. Okay. Under a, rock, a slight tug on the rope and the noose will tighten in a flash. Fantastic. That's the plan anyway. Yeah, we hope so. Let's take the carrot, place it work. as bait in the snare. We're gonna get ourselves a rabbit. Ah. Wow, what on earth? Oh my no. god, rabbit, I'm so sorry. Oh, it's alive, good. Is Thank it? The gods okay, have good. Knocked out. Thank the gods indeed. We've got ourselves a rabbit. We didn't get the carrot back though, unfortunately, but nevertheless, all good. I do know as well that we, well, I don't know, but I figured we've still got this Master Thief, the King of Thieves, sorry, chilling down here. And see, he's got a flag up. I was going to say he's probably got something for us. Let's see. These are stag beetle antlers. Lucky thing Uncle Alfred had these on the wall. That is to say, stag beetles don't have antlers. Right. Is there anything Let's else? See. Hmm. Nope. Nothing more there. Right. Okay. I am gonna place the flag back in the entrance. Yeah, I'm gonna go back. It sure is small. helpful having allies who know their way around the city. Because I would like to see if there's anything else that we can get from him. Hello, King. I found the stag beetle antlers. Thank you. Not a problem. Uncle Juan was happy to give up the antlers once he found out they were for your training. Thank you, Uncle Juan. I don't really think he can help me at okay, the moment. I'll nothing. Just let him get. That's fine. Let's go back now then. We've got the fireworks. We've got the stag beetle horns. We've got the Have we got everything we need? Oh no, we need to grind them into powder, which we I know we can do in there. We don't have the red devil's armpits or the moldy slime extract. Wonder where we get them from. Let's go back to death. We still need the hat. That's what we need. So I'm hoping we can somehow procure the top hat from death let's head into his boat take a wander through that yawning tree that's what it looks like it's doing anyway i wonder if one day that tree will speak to us maybe i suppose we'll find out i want to make sure there's no oh okay i could have just clicked and skipped the journey oops hi death have you got anything for us hello death hello Hello. Um, can I... Could you lend me your top hat for a bit? 
I'll bring it back. You want to repair it? Oh, I remember. No, we went through that dialogue before. Never mind. Okay. He's got nothing else new for us. Well, there's this oven here, or the stove, which we haven't used anything. Fireworks. If we set them on fire, they'd work. Hey, hey. See if that helps. Is death that easy to cheat? What the... I've no. Uh -huh. Sounds like explosions in the stove. Oh no! It's all a bit smoky. <laughs> That's never happened before, and it's a bit suspicious. But I can't take my eyes off the stove. Okay. Oh, now do we have to write in the? Oh, write in the book. Write in the book. Where's my ink? Pigeon feather. Write now something. Now I can write anything, any time. Oh. Death! You didn't give me enough time. Oh, we've still got some firework shells. Okay, let's do it again. It's pr it's a similar situation to um, swapping the crystal balls around with the showman. Okay, let's just skip all that dialogue. Kill him on death, hurry up. You've got a, such a fantastic a voice, though. Um, Pigeon Feather, right in the book. Wilbur Weathervin, White Ridge Mountains, date of death, right now. Right now, okay. Incredible, I cheated death. Wow. Strange. I don't know why the wood should be making such a noise. How very odd. Although it wasn't as difficult as the old saying would have us believe. Okay, death, I should probably tell you you've got to kill me now. Hello, Death. Hello. Hello, Death. Uh, my name's in the Book of the Dead. I had another look at the Book of the Dead, and and my name is there. It's it's my time to die. Really? Would you look at that? Well, I never. That's wonderful. Someone has finally understood that violence sells. Oh, good grief. Fare thee well. Oh my Ah, that felt good. Oh no, he's actually killed us. What a bastard. Oh, okay. So this is what it feels like to be dead. It's rather like Aunt Ethel's raspberry trifle. <laughs> is it really? Wow. I want some of Aunt Ethel's raspberry trifle. Uh, that hat's not there. Where's the hat gone? Okay, never mind. We can't actually do much. We can look at the recently dead gnome. I don't look like a very happy corpse. Well, then again, my death wasn't exactly one you'd call a natural death either. Hmm, there's a strange echo I've been to your voice. By myself. Oh no. Okay, let's speak Better to death. Not. Okay. He might do something to me when he finds out that I tricked him. All right, let's. I should get the amulet first. Yeah, let's go through that magical mirror. Oh, I... oh, do I? I hope I don't scare people too much as a ghost. I'd better head directly to the mage school. Do I still have my inventory? I should do. I may as well just use the postcard. Oh no, he's taking me straight there. Okay. Hello, Mr. Marcus, or Master Marcus, Look, even. Master Marcus, I'm dead. Yeah, he can't see us. Master Marcus, hello. Hello. Hmm. Looks like he can't see or hear me. That's not really a surprise. Let's go through the mirror. Right then. Let's do it. I bet it's a magical wonderland full of unicorns and mystery. Hours later. I have it. I have the amulet. Oh, you're kidding me. We don't... A fantastic world full of just incredible creatures over there. And it's so hard to believe how I got the amulet. Wow. It's a shame that only ghosts can pass through the mirror. Now I just need to see about coming back to life. That can't be too difficult. Seriously, you're not... Really, game? I'm a bit disappointed, really. I was really hoping we'd, uh... Get to go on, like, another whole mystery just to get this amulet. Okay, we're already straight back here. Can death bring us back to life? Mr. Death! Look who's back! What the? 
Oh no! You're a ghost? Ooh, of course I am. <laughs> That's becoming very trendy. People these days just can't let go. What do you want? Can you uh, just bring me back to life, please? I want to live! I'm too young to die! You're already dead. Too young to be dead! That isn't up to me. Sorry. It's all in the book. Okay, do I have to write something? Well, I haven't done a bit of editing. Well, this could all be a terrible mistake. A mistake? You are dead, aren't you? Not undead or the like. As a donor, but maybe I wasn't supposed to die yet. Of course you were. It's in the Book of the Dead. But I'm the one who wrote my name in the Book of the Dead. Oh. <laughs> oh? Oh, damn. It was just too good to be true. Do you have any idea what this means? Not a clue. Uh, a whole lot of paperwork? Uh, Lot of paperwork? No, that means I have changed the course of things. I've hugely overstepped my authority. They'll skin me at the next audit. You already are quite skinned. I'm going to escape the internal auditor's attention as an unregistered ghost is floating around the place. You wouldn't believe what they did to the norms when they fiddled the books. What if you bring me back to life and we tear the page out of the Book of the Dead and never tell anyone about this little episode? That... that might be an option. And you wouldn't really mind having to live again? Oh, I'll just have to tough it out. That's the spirit. Hmm. Okay. Come on, then. Lie back into your body. Okay. Wow. Perfect, perfect positioning right there. Oh, we're back. I'm sorry I couldn't fulfill your desire to die. Hey, it's worry. okay. It was an interesting experience. I still have the amulet. Master Marcus will be so amazed. Yeah, but we still need this hat. A top hat? And no, you can't reach it. Can I have it? Please. Hello, Death. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I didn't think my death would have any serious consequences. I'm sorry. Oh, I shouldn't have killed you. It's just I've waited for this for so long, and it really is quite good fun. Maybe... maybe you should look for another job. Yes, death is not such a dependable business as people think. But what could I do? Mailman. Um, look for another profession. You could be a postman. How about another profession? Your own business? Or a truck driver. Mm, I've thought about that too. Becoming my own boss, making my own decisions. Exactly. I'm sure there's lots of things you could do. Uh, what do you suggest? Postman. Um, you could earn yourself some cash standing in the corner of a biology class. A fashion business. I could imagine Ooh, I like you that. being in demand as a model. You have that emaciated look. I only have this one cloak, and I don't know a thing about fashion. I only know about death. Okay. How about a contract killer? Well, nobody knows more about killing than you do. So maybe you could work as a hitman, a uh, skeleton. Sometimes I have the feeling you don't listen to me. You can't die here. Should I just bury the people alive? I... Wait a minute. That's it. Bury them alive. Live burials. Huh? I'll become a grave digger, like my father. I'll offer to bury people alive for a small fee. Okay. No, I think that's a very good plan. I'm totally behind you 100% death. But unfortunately, I can't actually select that option, so... Who's going to be interested in that? Who, who wants to be buried alive? There are plenty of people who do. Young people humiliated by their friends. Old stars who don't want to be in the public eye anymore. Rich husbands. 
But what would rich husbands get out of being buried alive? Nothing at all. But there's certainly something in it for the future widow. Who pays the bills is incidental. I come from a long line of gnomes, and we gnomes are known to have the occasional truly strange idea. But never, not once in my entire life have I heard such a... Don't say a word. You can be my partner. There's lots to do. We've got to order some coffins and do some publicity. I'm okay with that. But you want me to be your business partner? Yeah, certainly meeting the master mage. There's lots to do. And after all, it was your idea that I should find myself a new job. Well, I'm honoured, but... First of all, you'll have to raise some venture capital. You'll have to convince someone with a lot of gold that our business idea has a future. It does? I'll begin trials in the meantime. Trials? You can't sell a service like this without trying it out yourself. Death and Gnome Live Burials Limited offers only the highest quality, complete with 100% guarantee. Write that down. Okay. Sure. Can I have the top hat, please, Death? A top hat? And for No, okay. Never mind. Death, I want the top hat, please. Hiya. Hello, partner. I was just thinking about doing coffins with our logo. But what do you want to discuss? Um, could I just have the top hat, please? Can you lend me your top hat for a bit? Oh, you want to repair? Then would you just lend... Absolutely... No, it's an old family heirloom. Okay, how are things Don't going with the business? Idea with the live burials? Don't be so modest. It's our idea. Okay. Weren't you going to raise some venture capital? Yes, okay, okay. Uh, then be quick. I want to start with the trials. Sure, I will go get some venture capital. Well, then I'll just go. I'll do some more work. Yes, time is money. And money is time. Guys, we are going to leave that there. We'll figure out how to get the top hat in the next episode. I'm not sure how long this has been. I'm hoping about the 15 minute mark. Probably a little bit longer though. Hope you guys have enjoyed. We decided to go dead for a bit and we obtained an amulet. If you guys have enjoyed, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to see the rest of the episodes in the series. And I hope you guys have a good rest of the day. Bye bye for now. Game. Oh my fucking god! That's not everything by the looks of things. Okay, you can die. Thanks for dying. What about the other one I just saw? Oh my god! Again. How is it get up again? Get out of here.